Hello friends, today we are going to learn about the zeolite process of water treatment. In the previous video, we have discussed about lime soda process of water treatment and lime soda process had some disadvantages which can be improved with the help of this zeolite process. We have a better residual hardness in case of zeolite process. Now, in zeolite process, we use zeolite that is hydrated sodium aluminosilicate. Did you write it as sodium zeolite Na2Z? This is capable of exchanging the reversibly its sodium ions with the hardness producing ions in the water. It means that the sodium ion will be replaced with calcium magnesium ions present in the water. So this is the picture for zeolite process. This is hard water in, okay, here this is a provision for hard water in and here it is a zeolite bed. These are the gravels to support this zeolite bed and then the soft water will be uh, out from here. Here we have an injector of sodium chloride and the washings will be sent to the sink through this provision. This process is also known as permuted process and we have two different types of zeolite, natural zeolite and artificial zeolite. In natural zeolite, we have natrolite as example, that is Na2Al2O3, SiO2, 4SiO2, dot 2H2O. These are non-porous and it has good durability. The synthetic zeolites, these are gel structured and porous and it has better exchange capacity, capacity as compared with that of the natural zeolite. Now let us understand the process. The sodium zeolite is fixed in the container and the hard water will be allowed to pass through this bed. The calcium and magnesium ion, that is hardness producing salts present in the water will react with the zeolite bed forming calcium zeolite and magnesium zeolite and it will be retained here itself. The softened water will be filtered through this, with the help of this gravels and it will be gone here. So we have the reactions as sodium zeolite, which is nothing but the zeolite, whatever we have taken, plus calcium ions present in the water, hard water. Let us take calcium bicarbonate so this calcium can replace sodium of the sodium zeolite. So we have product as calcium zeolite plus sodium bicarbonate. Similarly, if you have magnesium ions here, suppose let us take an example magnesium chloride, then this will react with sodium zeolite and the sodium will be replaced with this magnesium and we get magnesium zeolite and sodium chloride. Sodium and potassium ions are not hardness producing substance and it gets dissolved in water and do not create any problem of hardness. Now, after some time what happens is the zeolite will be exhausted because all sodium zeolite will be converted into calcium magnesium zeolite. At this stage, the hard water supply will be stopped because this has been converted into calcium and magnesium zeolite completely. So the filtration capacity or we can say the softening capacity of the zeolite bed will be uh, lesser as compared with that of the initial stage. So we need to regenerate it. We have to get the sodium zeolite back. Okay. So for that what we do is we uh, stop the hard water supply and the sodium zeolite will be retained by passing the sodium chloride solution. So we, are, we will be stopping this supply and here there will not be, outlet also will be closed so that there will not be any water coming outside. And at that stage what we do is we inject the sodium chloride solution and this sodium chloride solution will react with this calcium magnesium zeolite present here and will get the sodium zeolite back. So calcium zeolite and sodium chloride will get what we get it back, sodium zeolite will be, we will be getting it back and calcium chloride and magnesium chloride, the byproduct, these will be washed out from the uh, zeolite bed 
by passing soft water through it and here there is an option for sink where the calcium magnesium ions will be washed out now after this process only 10 ppm of residual hardness will be present so again after once it is retained once the sodium zeolite is retained hard water will supply will be in and the injector will be stopped and we get the softened water again and the softened water will contain only 10 ppm of the residual hardness okay so it is better as compared with that of lime soda process the amount of sodium chloride consumed for regeneration of exhausted zeolite and hardness of water can be calculated by using this above formula this this formula that is uh, hardness is equal to 50 multiplied by w multiplied by b2 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 Divided by fifty-eight point five multiplied by B one. Here we have fifty upon fifty-eight point five as what it is conversion of this into uh, calcium carbonate equivalent. So sodium chloride we have fifty-eight point five as equivalent weight. So fifty upon fifty-eight point five is the uh, multiplication factor for that, and we can multiply it with W. W is nothing but amount of sodium chloride present per liter in grams, and V2 is nothing but volume of sodium chloride used for regeneration in liters. Okay, here we are multiplying it with 10 to the power of 3 to convert it into in terms of liter milligram per liter, and V1 is total volume of the water that was softened in the that also in terms of liters. now see what are the advantages the equipment occupies small space okay that is one of the main advantage in case of lime soda the equipment was larger the residual hardness of softened water is only 10 ppm and it was more in case of lime and soda there is no sludge formation and in case of lime soda there was lot of sludge formed which was very difficult to manage and it requires less time for the softening process the process is automatically adjust the hardness of the incoming water it even requires less skill for maintenance and even operation so it the zeolite process is uh, better as compared with that of the lime soda process there are some disadvantages also the process can remove only calcium magnesium ions and all other ions uh, will be left over okay so the water should be free from turbidity otherwise what happens is that turbidity will clog the pores of the zeolite bed and even mineral acid should be absent because even acid can destroy the bed so the water should not contain turbidity as well as mineral acid and in case of lime soda there was no such problem the hardness of water contains magnesium and iron then what happens is this forms corresponding zeolite and this zeolite cannot be regenerated easily so if there is presence of magnesium manganese and uh, sorry manganese and iron then the regeneration of this into respective sodium zeolite is difficult the treated water contains smooth sodium salt let us take an example for the calculation part The, the hardness of twenty thousand liters of water, that is volume of water is twenty thousand liter, and it is completely removed by passing. Hardness is removed by passing it through zeolite softener. The zeolite softener required hundred liters of sodium chloride, and it contains twenty gram per liter of sodium chloride for regeneration. So let us calculate the hardness of water itself. we have we have one formula hardness is equal to 50 upon 58.5 multiplied by w multiplied by v2 upon v1 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 where w is what amount of sodium chloride present per liter in grams so how much is the sodium chloride pre, uh, sodium chloride present in uh, gram per liter it is 20 gram per liter okay and what about total volume of sodium chloride used for regeneration that is 100 liters okay so this is v2 is 100 liter 
W is nothing but 20 gram per liter. And V1 is what? Total volume of water that is softened in liters. Again, 20,000 liters of water. By putting all this value, what we get is 50 upon 58.5. W is 20. V2 is 100. V1 is 20,000 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 to convert it into milligram per liter. Another example, zeolite softener was completely exhausted and was regenerated by passing 200 liters of sodium chloride solution containing 100 gram per liter of sodium chloride. So we have 200 liters of sodium chloride and it contains 100 gram per liter of sodium chloride. And how many liters of sample of water of hardness? 500 ppm can be softened. Means we need to calculate the volume of water. Hardness is being given as 500 ppm. So let us again use a formula. Okay. Whatever bottle are given, W is given as 100 gram per liter. C, 100 gram per liter sodium chloride. V2 is given as 200 liters. Sodium volume of sodium chloride is 200 liters. V1, that is volume of water, that is not given that we need to calculate. Hardness is given as 500 ppm. So by putting the amount, all the hardness is equal to 50 upon 58.5 multiplied by W, multiplied by V2 upon V1, multiplied by 10 to the power 3. So hardness is given as 500 milligram per liter. 50 upon 58.5 as such, W is given as 100, 100 gram per liter and V2 is given as 200 liters. V1 we need to calculate and hardness we have already put multiplied by 10 to the power 3. The V1 will come out to be 341 88.03 liters. That's all for today. Thank you everyone.